Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw Kobe Bryant dunk shot using graphite pencils. This video is sponsored by my patron Juliano De Brito. More about that in the video. So these are the art supplies I'm going to use for this drawing and you can pause the video right here to note them down. So I'm already done with this rough outline and you can find all the references including this outline credit reference on my Patreon profile. Link is in the description. I'm using this A2 size paper from my ordinary drawing pad and the drawing portion area is 11 x 14 inches. So starting from the head and first of all I'm gonna use this B pencil and darken these outlines and shadow areas so they don't fade away in the shading process. And then I'm gonna use the same B pencil and fill this whole area with the base layer. Keep the base layer light and smooth and then thoroughly blend it using a dry brush later on. Ok now use your 3B pencil and fill these shadowed areas and hair with a darker shade. You can also use your 5P pencil for this purpose. Because the contrast level in this drawing is really high. So there isn't much area for the middle tones or shades. And by the way the real time version of this tutorial is available on my Patreon profile. So if you want to see all these details up close and in real time you can visit my Patreon profile. Link is in the description. And after blending the second layer you can use your 5P or 8 with pencil to further darken the shadowed portions and hair. Don't worry too much about the details and facial features at this moment because we are going to highlight them later. Now use your mono zero eraser with a sharp or chisel tip and add these sharp highlights on the facial features where required. You can also use your needle eraser with a pointy end to add lighter highlights where required especially on the cheeks and the forehead portion just like this. So moving on to the shirt and again first of all I'm gonna darken and and give shapes to the outlines and then fill the area with a base layer using B pencil. Now I'm gonna use this 3B pencil and shade all these shadowed portions for these wrinkles on the fabric. And then use a mini dry brush like this and lightly blend all these shadowed portions. Make sure you don't blend these highlighted portions in between the wrinkles. You can also use a sharp tip blending stump for this purpose if you have one. Now use your 8P pencil and further darken these extra dark and shadowed portions near the arm and also darken the black borders of the sleeve. And for this printing on the back, you can use a sharp tip 3B pencil first and darken the outlines of the text. Keep the perspective in mind and try to get the shape as perfect as possible. And then use your 8P pencil later to darken these rough outlines of the text to give it a proper shape. And then use your mono zero eraser and add highlights around the text to give it a proper contrast. And in the end you can use your kneaded eraser with a pointy end and lightly add these highlights in between the wrinkles on the shirt. Just like this. Now moving on to the arm and as always I'm gonna fill it with a base layer first and then use a 5P pencil afterwards to fill all these shadowed areas with a darker Tone. You can also use your 3B pencil in between for the lighter areas if required. And don't forget to blend each and every layer if you want to get a smooth and finished look in the end. And by the way if you want to sponsor a tutorial on my Patreon, you will instantly get access to all the exclusive content for one whole year. It provides an opportunity for other people to learn from your sponsored content. And it will also help me continue making these free tutorials for you on YouTube. You can visit the link in description to get details about sponsoring a tutorial. And when you are done with the shading and planning, you can use your needle eraser for the soft highlights and mono zero eraser for the sharp white highlights in between. I'm gonna repeat the similar shading process for the basketball as well. But make sure you add the highlights around the lining of the ball using a mono zero eraser to give it a proper contrast. And for this elastic waistband, I'm gonna fill it with a plain black shade of 8P and then use a mono zero eraser in between to add the highlights. Highlights. The overall process for the shot is similar to what I did in the shirt portion. Just add the base layer with a B pencil first and then fill the wrinkles with a 3B. And then use a needle eraser afterwards to add the highlights in between. And by the way if you want to learn the basics of drawing first, you can join my course on Udemy. I put my course on sale for 5 days of every month. You can check the link in the description to see if the sale is going on right now and get enrolled as soon as possible. 
this side portion is pitch black like the waistband so i'm gonna fill it with a plain black shade using an 8p pencil and then add the highlights using a knit eraser and then lightly shade them using a mini dry brush to give them a 3d look just like this shading process on the legs is similar to what i did in the arm just fill them with a base layer first and then shade the darker portions using 3b and then 5p pencil and in the end add highlights using knit eraser or any thicker tip eraser like this the shading of these jordans is very simple than you think just fill the outlines of these dark strips using an 8p pencil first and then fill the in between portions like this using a 3b pencil and then use a mini dry brush to blend these 3b shades and also add these lighter shades in between where required and in the end choose a mono zero eraser to add the highlights and shines in between these black strips just like this and with this last step we are done with this realistic kobe bryant drawing all the sponsored drawings are signed and carefully framed in your desired color or style and then packed in this customized rigid box with a free notepad as a gift and this package is then sent to your doorstep through dhl fedex or ups so if you want to sponsor a trial or get the real-time trial of this drawing you can visit my patreon profile and if you want to learn the basics of drawing first you can join my course on udemy all the links are in the description down below so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next 